Hey Taurus, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for October 21st through the 24th. Uh, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Taurus. I do have personals open right now. Um, it's a same day special because it's Sunday, same day Sunday, okay? So it's three questions, it's 22, 22, you get it within 24 hours, but this does close today, October 20th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time, okay? So everything's down below if you're interested. We're gonna go ahead and start here for you, Taurus. We're gonna see what we've got, okay? Let's see what we have here for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, 21st to 24? Okay. All right. Ooh, wait, two major arcana here, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so Monday's energy, and you got two reversals. So Monday's energy, you have the Eight of Swords showing up in the reverse position. I feel like you're about to free yourself from something here on Monday. If you have been like putting some um, limitations on yourself, if you've been like restricting yourself in any way, I feel like on Monday, it's going to be a day where you're like, you know what? I can't, you know, I can't do this anymore. I've got to just try, you know, some, because everybody gets in these ruts sometimes, you know, and some of you, you could have been stuck on a person and maybe you're just finally like, I got to let it go, right? Uh, you got the tower in the reverse position showing up on Tuesday. So it looks like you're rebuilding. Some of you, you could have dodged a tower, dodged a bullet. You may be finding that out on Tuesday. We'll see what's going on there with that. You got the Six of Swords for Wednesday. Might be a busy day. Could be a day with lots of travel or running errands um, or anything like that going on here. But it is a card of progress for movement. Moving on to more peaceful waters. You got the, uh, the lovers showing up for Thursday. This could be a big decision or a turning point in your life. It could also be emphasizing a connection of some sort. Some of you may connect or reconnect with your sibling on Thursday. Maybe you're getting together with them. Um, you know, maybe you're having like lunch or whatever, talking over something here. Um, but that's Gemini energy. So you got Gemini energy twice here, actually. Um, you got Aquarius energy. You also got Scorpio and Aries. We'll see what's going on with this Eight of Swords reversed here for Taurus on Monday. What's going on with this energy here for Monday? What's going on with this Eight of Swords reverse for Monday? Yeah, uh, de yeah, you got the uh, moon card here, and you've got the ten of wands in the reverse position. So when the moon card is showing up, that can sometimes talk about secrets, hidden things. It can say, be cautious. There are things you don't know, okay? This could be regarding a Pisces or a Cancer or maybe a fire sign. Like, it could be any sign, but, you know, when it comes to that ten of wands being in the reverse position, I really feel like Monday is going to be a day where you're dropping a burden. There's too much that's hidden. So to me, this seems like it could be highlighting somebody who is feeling a little shady to you, and so you're done, like, carrying the weight of wondering and worrying and I think that you're releasing yourself from that all right um so yeah it seems like you're dropping a bird in here what's going on with that tower in the reverse position for Taurus this is for Tuesday oh yeah I feel like stuff is about to go down here on Tuesday. You got the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Wheel of Fortune when it comes to this energy here. Um, I feel it's representing a return of some sort. Five of Cups is in the reverse position. So it really seems like you are like pulling yourself up here. And you know, it's really powerful energy. Like I feel like you're pulling yourself up out of this rut. Uh, it was 333 as I was saying that. And the Five of Cups is in the reverse position. Now upright, this can be a card of grief, sorrow, loss, disappointment. I feel like you're done being in that energy. I feel like it has been restricting you and you're done waiting on someone or something to change. And it's like I said, it's a return coming up here. You got that Six of Cups energy right underneath that Two of Pentacles. Um, I feel like somebody could be trying to cause chaos or cause a tower and you're like, absolutely not. Um, it's crazy energy here. It's crazy stuff. It could be a fellow fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. Yeah, I feel like this person could be coming back, trying to cause a tower, trying to cause chaos, or get you to, like, have doubts about your decision. It's that kind of, oh, oh my God. Yeah. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to have a victory here. Like, they know they've been secretive. They know they've held things back. And they know that you're headed right after your Ten of Cups. So, yeah. And I feel like you're not mincing any words with whoever this is. Like, this King of Swords energy is someone who faces you straight. I'm telling you all, shit's about to go down on Tuesday. Like, it could be an Aquarius. You could have some Aquarius in your chart. But Six of Wands, you're having a victory here. And somebody just does not want you to have that. Like, they don't want you to have, um, you know, they, they're seeing you moving on and you getting the last word or whatever the case is as uh, some sort of win for you. Like it's a, it's an ego thing for them. And so I do think this person could be trying to start things here. Um, 
or in some sort of victory for you, I don't think it's going to work at all. I feel like you're shutting this person down. And furthermore, I feel like you're dodging. You've dodged a bullet. And I feel like the more that this person shows their colors here, the more that you're seeing that Taurus, you're like, wow. <laughs> like, I'm really glad that I that I got away from this when I did. Uh, it just seems like this person's throwing a temper tantrum trying to get what they want. And I feel like it's because you could be getting attention elsewhere. Or maybe you've started a new connection and they've caught wind of this. Um, yeah, it's, it's wild. It's wild, Taurus. It's getting real, okay? Let's see what we got here. Six of Swords for Wednesday. What's going on with that energy there? Two of Swords in the reverse position. Good. And you know, it's like I was saying before, I think that for a lot of you, there's also like some sort of limitation you've maybe placed on yourself. I think it could have been like a fear of the unknown that was kind of keeping you stuck. And it's almost as if leaving this situation has kind of like allowed that courage to bleed into other areas of your life. So maybe you'll end up like, say for example, Taurus, maybe you'll go back to school or you'll go to school, right? Uh, it could be something like that. Maybe you've been fearful of doing that and you're like, I just did something really hard. I can do hard things. So, you know, I, I feel like whatever this is, it's, it's causing you to be less afraid of the unknown. And, you know, with that Two of Swords being in the reverse position, I feel like you're really opening your heart space to to allow yourself to receive. And, you know, I think that's really um, a big thing that's going on here because the High Priestess can also be hidden things. It can be the unknown, and that can be scary for anyone, you know. But uh, Two of Swords upright, she can be kind of stuck at a crossroads. She's not really wanting to move. And it being in the reverse position, I feel like you're letting go of that fear and you're going to allow yourself some forward movement in more than one area here. Uh, you have the um, lovers showing up for Thursday. Some of you, if you're moving on to another person, it might be a Gemini, it might be a Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but those energies are showing up here as well. Maybe that's what you're moving on from. What's going on with the lovers for Thursday's energy for Sagittarius? I'm sorry, for Taurus. That was weird. Two of Cups. And the Knight of Wands, I feel like there's a connection moving forward here. Some of you, there could be an interview. Maybe there's a big decision coming up. Maybe there's a job interview here on Thursday. Uh, it looks good. But when it comes to that Two of Cups, somebody here might have Venus in Cancer or in Sagittarius. But when it comes to the Knight of Wands, Two of Cups energy, uh, lover's energy, I feel like this is a passionate connection. It seems like this is attraction, chemistry, things moving forward in a healthy manner. Uh, it really, it looks good. It looks good. I love to see it here, Taurus. So I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Don't forget that I do have personals open. I have that same day Sunday special going on. It's three questions. It's 22, 22. You get it within 24 hours. Okay. This does close though tonight, October 20th at 1159 PM Eastern time. So everything's down there, but if this is where we part, thank you for being here, Taurus. I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.